everybody, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Excuse me, but I was just uh, falling in love all over again. I have got such a special guitar for you today. Um, I hope I, I don't sound so enthused that you think I'm uh, 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 embellishing here. What we've got uh, is a uh, Arnold Hoyer guitar, which were made in Germany. Now this one is from the 1950s. Uh, we can tell from uh, the body style and there's actually quite a bit of information uh, out there from the Hoyer people that, uh, that chase these guitars all over the place. Hoyer started all the way back in the 1800s. Uh, 1874 uh, was when the first instrument was made. And interestingly enough, Hoyer is still making guitars today and they are very high quality guitars. So this one particular guitar, uh, I, I, <laughs> I ran all over town trying to uh, get my hands on it. Uh, I had never seen anything like it. Uh, this headstock uh, says Arnold Hoyer, Herr M. Frank which in German means gentleman in tails. So I read about that and uh, basically they did it in black and white in a tuxedo uh, style color, uh, but then they added a couple extra little things just because Germany does that. Uh, they added the little red and white nut up here which was to signify the bow tie. And then down here at the 12th fret, instead of a standard full width uh, uh, fret marker that they use on all the others, which is very expensive, they did that in red to also represent the cummerbund. So, I mean, they did lots of really cool things for this guitar uh, that just made it very, very special. Now, uh, this guitar is an arch top. Uh, it did not come with a pickup. Now, uh, the pickup that's on this is a very, very old Framus pickup. Now, if you know Framus, uh, you know that that is also German. So my guess is, given the age of the pickup, it was probably uh, on this guitar for a long time, if not initially installed. Uh, it's designed as a floating pickup. It's only attached here at the fretboard uh, a piece of the neck. It, uh, it does not penetrate the body of the guitar at all. Uh, now, when uh, the person who found this guitar got it, it didn't work. The, the electronics didn't work. Uh, it played horrible. It was just a mess. Uh, so uh, they cleaned it up, they took it to the luthery shop, they did a complete neck off uh, reset on it, and I gotta tell you now, this guitar plays like a dream. I mean, it's just very, very low action. They did a beautiful job of getting the uh, neck angle just right, and it, it just plays great. Uh, now the, the question came out of what do we do about this uh, pickup with just this wire hanging off of it uh, to make that work. Uh, we have a, uh, a guy here in town uh, uh, called Foggy Mountain uh, Pickups uh, uh, who makes pickups, he rewinds pickups for me, and uh, he's the one who, uh, who did this. Uh, he found the pickup design on, uh, on the internet and was uh, able to, uh, to, to make it look like that. I can't tell you it's exactly like it because where are you going to find one to uh, make a, a copy, but it looks very, very, very close to uh, what the original would look like. And then he buried all the electronics underneath that. What he did then is ran uh, the input wire down through and it comes out through the butt end of the guitar. So if you ever want to put this guitar back to a arch top with no electronics, very simple. Put your end pin back in, which by the way I have in the case. Uh, take this off, take the uh, pickup off, and you've got a, a fully acoustic uh, Herr and Frank uh, Arnold uh, uh, Hoyer guitar. So uh, I, I just can't say enough about how how fun it is to play. So that pickup sounds great. They did another really cool thing. They added the uh, a little switch in here, which when you uh, Hit the switch, it takes it to uh, uh, another setting uh, for your tone pot. So you can have like a... And then switch, switch it back over again, you're back to your, your lead again. They did that a lot with 50s and 60s guitars, so I thought that was a really nice touch that they did that. Uh, so here's the other things about uh, this guitar I can tell you. Uh, it's got the A uh, nickel tailpiece, and, and I got to tell you, in, in searching uh, about these guitars, uh, these Hoyer uh, uh, guys with their, with their websites just go crazy trying to find these A uh, uh, tailpieces. This one has uh, the tailpiece. Uh, it's perfect. It's beautiful. It's the one that belongs on this guitar. I have never, ever seen a, a, a guitar bridge like this before in my life. Uh, it, it's just, it's 
the most efficient thing. You know those Germans, everything has to be super efficient. Uh, I mean, these, these little guides in here roll. You don't have to screw them or anything. If, if your intonation is off just a little bit, you just slide it. I mean, it's just, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen and, and super easy to, to set the, the intonation up perfectly. Uh, in looking at the tuners, um, I was not able to find uh, uh, exactly what uh, Hoyer tuners look like, but these are definitely from the 50s, and uh, without any extra tuner holes, I would assume that those are original. Uh, as we said, also, the, uh, the, the nut is original. The frets are in beautiful shape uh, uh, from the uh, zero fret uh, on all the way up. There's no fret outs. This guitar plays all the way up the neck. <laughs> So you can play jazz on this. I'll tell you, uh, this in the hands of a qualified rockabilly uh, guitar player would just be insane. So uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to have a lot of great ideas what to do with this guitar. It's just, it's you just don't see them. I mean, it's just uh, I had never seen one before. Uh, I had to do a ton of research just to figure out what it was, and uh, you'll have a blast with this guitar. Now uh, the guitar is is great at, uh, by itself. By the way, it sounds pretty good acoustically also, uh, which we didn't talk about. But here's the best part. You know, lawman, we got to have the case. Every time I go shopping for a guitar, it's like, do you have the case? Well, yes, we have the case. Uh, it's uh, been repaired. It looks like it's been painted at one time. Uh, but uh, it, it's really in beautiful, beautiful shape for the uh, 50s. And uh, these hinges definitely look European. I've never seen an American case that have these sorts of hinges on them. Uh, the handle is the only thing that has uh, uh, been redone. It's some kind of web handle that someone made. It works fine. All the latches work, including uh, the locking latch, although uh, we don't have a key for it. But check out the, the green interior. It looks like the top of a beautiful pool table. I can't tell you how nice this is. Uh, a beautiful case for it. Uh, it has the accessory box. Uh, I mentioned I have the original uh, end pin. Look at that wood end pin. If you ever want to take that guitar back to uh, acoustic again, uh, you have the original end pin. So you get this unbelievably cool uh, Hoyer guitar. You get the the really cool original case that comes with it. You get the um, Framus pickup installation. Uh, if you don't like it, take it off. You know, it's fine. But I got to tell you, if you start playing that guitar through any amp, I mean, it, you're going to love it. I mean, this thing just sounds fantastic. So check it out. I've got that. I've got uh, just tons of great, cool guitars at www.lawmanguitars.com. Check out our new site where most of our guitars are now listed, which is on reverb.com. Uh, just go to Reverb.com and then type in the search line Lawman Guitars and you'll see probably about 150 super cool guitars. So check them out. I appreciate you watching and uh, thanks a lot.